Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 through 21. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war, the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts he cast into the sea, and his chosen officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them, they went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power, your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow your adversaries. You send out your fury, it consumes them like a stubble. At the blast of your nostrils, the waters piled up. The floods stood up in a heap, the deeps congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil, my desire shall have its fill of them, I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. You blew with your wind, the sea covered them, they sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You have led in your steadfast love the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them by your strength to your holy abode. The peoples have heard, they tremble. Pangs have seized the inhabitants of Philistia. Now are the chiefs of Edom dismayed. Trembling seizes the leaders of Moab. All the inhabitants of Canaan have melted away. Terror and dread fall upon them. Because of the greatness of your arm, they are still as a stone. Till your people, O Lord, pass by, till the people pass by whom you have purchased. You will bring them in and plant them on your own mountain, the place, O Lord, which you have made for your abode, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. For when the horses of Pharaoh with his chariots and his horsemen went into the sea, the Lord brought back the waters of the sea upon them. But the people of Israel walked on dry ground in the mists of the sea. Then Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and dancing. And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. Today's passage is the full culmination of the joy that Moses and the Israelites have found from the decimation of Egypt and salvation that God brought upon them. Moses does not hide his joy. He praises the Lord for all that he has done to save them from the might of Egypt. Egypt used to be fearsome. They were a source of fear. But God worked for Israel and brought destruction upon Israel's enemy. Moses does not hide his full joy in knowing that what God has done to Egypt will be a sign that the Lord is with Israel and no other nation will dare to attack them. Moses was praising the Lord for who he is and what he has done and what he will do. This is a praise of a person who fully rejoices in the Lord. This praise has been written down and recorded for the very purpose of remembering what the Lord has done for Israel. This was done to constantly remind Israel of who God is and what he has done for them. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 11 through 14 says, Take care lest you forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments and his rules and his statutes which I command you today. Lest, when you have eaten and are full and have built good houses and live in them, and when your herds and flocks multiply and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart will be lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. The miracle of the Red Sea is symbolic of how God saves us from the condemnation of sin through the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Moses' song recorded in today's passage is akin to how joyful we are when we first receive salvation. Just as God commands the Israelites to remember God's faithful deeds, God asks us to remember what He has done on the cross and remain in the joy of God's salvation. Philippians chapter 3 verse 8 through 11 says, Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. 
For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ, and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. When we focus on the joy of God's salvation in our lives, when we remind ourselves of the great victory God has won for our soul, our joy is restored and our spirit is uplifted once again. As we read today's passage, let us meditate on what the Lord has done for us and find the joy of His salvation filling us through and through. Psalm 51.12 Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. 